Hi, Joy Schreiber again from the Arduino project. Today, with the help of my friend Lutti, we're gonna show you uh, our latest construction, which is an aquaponic passive solar greenhouse made out of an IBC tote. This is part of an experiment where we're gonna see how such an installation works throughout the winter uh, under the continental climate. So, cut the crabs, let's see what's inside. You can see uh, a mini aquaponic system in there with some plants that have been transferred from my uh, running aquaponic system. They should recover soon from the shock of the relocation. But come closer and let's see what's inside. There is an Arduino node which is the heart of the monitoring and automation. It's networked and various sensors and actuators are attached to it such as this temperature and humidity meter with a photoresistor for light metering. This is for the inside of the cube and we have the same module fitted outside for external measurements. Here we have a flow sensor that tells us if the water is running when the main pump is on and in the fish tank we have two pumps, main and backup and this one is the drain of the media bed so with the main pump fail the backup should take over this one is a temperature sensor for the water and we have aeration and we are about to install a ph sensor uh, and actually convert this tank to a sump tank and then install a constant height fish tank we will install a heat buffer in the back of the cube so we have another sensor prepared for measuring temperature on that Finally, there is a 4-channel relay switch module uh, that we use to run the main pump, the backup pump, the aeration and the one with the indicator light will drive a fan for climate control. Alright, time to feed the fishes. Now that's something else that could and should be automated and we will certainly do so as you can set up any actuators to run on timers with Arduino. Thanks to the cross-platform HTML UI you can have your most important sensors and actuators right at your fingertips on the dashboard so you can interact with your system easily. You can also access historical data according to the third-party data logging service you have configured at the management site at abduino.com and uh, you can also see your system is in a closed loop control mode. Our online service offers a lot more features like notifications, cross-node communication and integration towards third-party applications. We are also working on a kit that should allow anyone to use our solution for remote monitoring and automation and to join a collaborative growing community. There is a lot of work left with the cube, installing the heat buffer, fixing up the fish tank and the sump tank, finishing up the cover, adding some more sensors, so check back regularly to see our progress. If you would like to test drive our solution and join the growing internet of growing or leave your feedback and comments, please reach out for us here or at our website at abduino.org. Thank you for watching.